Greetings everyone, welcome back to my show. My name is Cyrus and today's topic is on feminism and the failure of feminism. Now, uh, with any kind of uh, ideolo ideology that we have, there has to be a certain point where we say that this is good, this is a good idea, we're going to go with it, and or this is a very bad idea, and let's uh, put a stop to it right now. Uh, I'm for, when it comes to feminism, let's put a stop to it as soon as possible, because we've given feminism a long enough time, and it has not worked. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't look at feminism like most guys look at feminism, and I don't have the same kind of hatred that most guys do towards feminism. As a matter of fact, uh, feminism, it, to me, is a nothing uh, today, is nothing but a hypocritical word that's used by many females today. Whereas feminism originally stood for basically equality of uh, uh, men and women's rights. Today, uh, the reason I say feminism has turned into nothing but hypocrisy is it's turned into the equal rights of women and men to women being somehow better or more dominant than men. Now, uh, that is why I say uh, uh, this, this has to be put uh, to an end. Because if there was a situation uh, like there was in the past where uh, men were claiming to be more dominant than women or better than women in, in some ways, obviously we saw the backlash of that being feminism. Now, feminism has gone too far, has made, made the same mistake as, as guys were making a long time ago. So, uh, what we need to do, I think, is find some sort of even ground. I don't have the exact answers of what it is that we should do, but uh, feminism is definitely not the answer. Unless we want to give feminism a real try. You know, uh, like I said before, I'm not necessarily against the true meaning of feminism. I don't think it's the best way to go about doing it, but uh, like I said, I'm willing to give it a try. If, uh, if I take a uh, gal on a date, if we go to a restaurant, I'll open the door for her, I'll pull the seat uh, uh, for her at the uh, dinner table. When the bill comes, I'll be more than happy to pay for it on the way out. I'll open the door for her again, open the door for the car, do all these kind of chivalrous type things. And uh, chances are, although it might not happen, chances are we'll maybe get a second date. Now, on the second date, what's going to happen is right when we get to the restaurant, I'm going to stop. I'm going to wait for her to lean over and open the door. Because after all, this is a whole feminist type of relationship that we're having here. So she's equal to, to me and I'm equal to her. So whatever I do, she's supposed to do and whatever she does, I'm supposed to do. So after she opens the door for me, hopefully, <laughs> we're gonna go inside and have a lovely uh, dinner. But before we have that lovely dinner, we, we sit down at the dinner table and instead of me pulling the seat for her, she's gonna wanna naturally <clears throat> pull the seat for me because I have for her until then. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, hopefully have a lovely meal and at the end when the bill comes, as a feminist, uh, both me and her, we would expect her to pay for the bill. Why? Because I paid for the bill the first time around. And of course, on our way out, after having our uh, lovely meal that the female uh, paid for, on our way out of the restaurant, she's gonna be the one, of course, to open the door for me and open the uh, car door as we leave. Um, I imagine if the men 
need to be gentlemen, the women need to be gentle women as well, if this uh, feminist thing is to work. Now, most people out there would think that that's absolutely ridiculous, but that's exactly what feminism is. Most people that I'm saying would think that this is ridiculous are not only uh, uh, people who are not feminists, but I'm talking about uh, the hypocritical feminists themselves, that they would think that that is absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna buy you dinner, I'm gonna pull your uh, chair uh, for you, I'm gonna do all these uh, kind of things. Yeah, right. And once they start talking like that, and once they start thinking like that, you know, you start to realize how much of, once again, a hypocrite you are, and how much of a non-feminist you are. After all, you can say you're, you're a female who's, uh, you know, Miss Independent, and you could yell that you're a feminist, and uh, all this kind of stuff, till you're blue in the face. But if a guy decides to take you to a nice restaurant, pull the chair for you, act like a total gentleman, pay for the bill, take, you know, drive you there, drive you back, do all this kind of chivalrous type things. As a feminist, chances are you're not gonna complain. You're not gonna say, hey, why don't you, why don't you instead of pulling the chair for me, why don't I pull the chair for you because uh, you did that for me last time. Why don't I take care of this bill because you did, you did the same thing for me last time. After all, everything is 50-50 between us. This is something that uh, doesn't happen with at least the feminism that we we call it today. And these are the reasons why I basically think that feminism under uh, the definition it's uh, kind of categorized under today is a big joke. But nevertheless, I thank you all for tuning in. And I wanted to remind everyone that I love you all. Thank you very much. This is Cyrus.